For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, uh, let's do this problem where there's a strut that goes from A to B of the one meter diameter hatch door and exerts a force of 450 Newton meters on point B. Find the moment that this force creates about O. So let's find the points involved. O is at the origin, 0i plus 0j plus 0mk. B is at 0 in the i, it sits in the yc plane, plus 1 cosine of 30 in the j, because the doors open at 30 degrees and it has a diameter of 1, plus 1 sine of 30 in the k, completing the right triangle. So this is 0 in the i, plus 0.866 in the j, plus 0.5 in the k. And a sits at 0.5 sine of 30 in the i, given right here by this angle, and this hypotenuse, plus 0.5 plus 0.5 cosine of 30 in the j, because in the j we got 0.5 and then we got this segment right here that ends right there that is given by 0.5 cosine of 30 and 0 in the k. So a comes out to be 0.25 in the i plus 0.933 in the j plus 0 in the k. So we need to find the moment that the strut creates about the origin and it is equal to the vector that goes from O to where the force is applied which is right here cross the Cartesian vector form of the force and we got neither so we're gonna find them so OB is easy to find is B minus O but O is the origin so it's just B which is 0 in the I plus 0.866 in the j plus 0.5 in the k. This is OB. F is given by the magnitude of F, which is given at 450, times a univector going from A to B. To find this univector, you need to find vector AB, which is B minus A, which is negative 0.25 in the i minus 0.067 in the j plus 0.5 in the k. Then you need to find the <coughs> you need to find the magnitude of AB. <coughs> the magnitude is found by doing the square root of x square plus y square plus c square. You plug in these three values into this formula, and you get that the magnitude comes out to be. 0.563. Once you have this magnitude, to find the univector AV, you divide the vector AV by its magnitude. So dividing these three values by 0.563 gives you the univector which comes out to be negative 0.444 in the i minus 0.119 in the j plus 0.8 8 in the k. So the force is given by the magnitude multiplied by this univector AV. So multiplying the 415 Newton magnitude times these three values gives you the Cartesian vector form of the force, which comes out to be minus 200 in the i, minus 53.5 in the j, plus 400 in the k. So this cross product becomes i, j, k, ob is 0 0.866 and 0.5 found right here and the force is minus 200 minus 53.5 and 400. Rewrite your first and second column 0 0.866 minus 200 minus 53.5 to your positive diagonals i times 0.866 times 400 is equal to 
346.4 in the i j times 0.5 times negative 200 is minus 100 in the j k times 0 times minus 53.5 is 0 on the k and now we do our negative diagonals minus 200 minus minus 200 times 0.866 times k is positive 173.2 k minus minus 53.5 times 0.5 times i comes out to be 26.8 positive again and negative 400 times 0 times j is 0 j so when you add them together you get that the moment that the force creates about o comes out to be 373.2 in the i minus 100 in the j plus 173.2 in the k you know that the force is in newtons and the distances are in meters, so this is newton meters. Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.